Welcome to Excel Magic Trick number 940. And if you want to download this work, uh, workbook 938 and 941, click on the link below the video. In this video, we want to sort this data set and then format the entire row at each change in SKU. Now, right now, this is sorted on units. So, and I, within a group of SKUs, I want the date sorted too. So that means the major sort is going to be SKU. So I'll sort the date column first. Right click, sort A to Z, or there's uh, the data menu A to Z. So now I got this all the smallest dates at top. Now I'm going to come over here and do the same thing. Right click, sort A to Z. So now I have the, all of the SKUs together. And within any given uh, SKU, the dates are uh, sorted. Now I want to highlight the first record for each group of SKUs. So I'm going to do use conditional formatting. Now when you do conditional formatting for a row, you're going to have to use a formula and use mixed cell references. So I'm going to highlight and those uh, A4 to D4 and then Control Shift Down Arrow. That gives me the entire uh, data set. The active cell is up in the corner. That's that light colored cell. Now I'm going to use the keyboard shortcut that works in all versions. Alt O D. That's from the home ribbon. And then I'm going to say new rule. I'm going to say use a formula and I'm going to build my formula here. Now notice what has to be true for the record to be the first record in the group of SKUs. Well, that cell has to be different than that cell. And when you get down to here, remember it's the 9, 9 here that I want format the entire row. So I'm going to ask the question, is that cell different than that cell? So since the active cell is up in the corner, I have to build the formula from that point of view. So I'm going to say, I'm going to click on A4 and then lock using the F4 key. One, I hit the F4 key once and twice. That locks the column but not the row. That means the formula will be copied in memory over and get a true for the entire row. But when it goes down to the next row, it, the formula will move from A4 to A5. Now I have to say, is that not less than, greater than, the cell right above it, A3, and I have to do the same thing, F4, F4. That formula will work all the way down for the entire row when it's a the first SKU number in its group. So I click Format, and then you do whatever formatting you want. Click OK, click OK. And so there we have, at each new change in SKU number, the first record in that group is conditionally formatted. All right, we'll see you next video.